This morning, investigators looking into what caused this. Watch again, flames racing through the entire body of this Boston-bound Bolt bus. A blast knocking out the windows, even sending the front windshield flying. The passenger bus left New York City around 11 a.m. Monday, its driver pulling over when she noticed it was overheating, but continuing after a mechanic worked on it for two hours. Then at 5 p.m. on the Massachusetts Turnpike. A driver for, for another car yeah. alarmed the driver of our bus that there is fire in the back. The 47 passengers escaping the bus only moments before it explodes. As soon as they got out, it, they heard an explosion, like, like a bomb blast or something, and there was glass everywhere. Scenes like this becoming all too familiar. Last week, this double-decker tour bus caught fire in San Francisco. Double-decker bus on fire, you might want to get another engine. And last month, Lady Antebellum's tour bus caught fire outside of Dallas on the way to an awards show, captured in this video from TMZ. Oh my god, that thing is really, really de real deal on fire. Luckily, no one was injured in any of these fires. But with more than 4,000 for hire motor coach companies registered in the U.S., officials are urging passengers to check background and safety records of companies and drivers before booking travel. Records indicate Bolt and its sister line, Yo, averaged 120 minor crashes every month over the last year. No injuries reported among them. Greyhound Lines, which owns Bolt Bus, telling ABC News overnight regarding the fire in Massachusetts, it's fully cooperating with the local fire department on the investigation. For Good Morning America, Candace Gibson, ABC News, Los Angeles.